It's a defining night in the Europa League playoffs. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today welcome to my Europa League playoff second leg predictions. Today, of course, it is the second leg of the Europa League playoffs and of course tonight we will find out the eight winners that go through to the Europa League round of 16. And speaking of the Europa League round of 16, the draw is tomorrow. So of course the winners that... The winners that win the games tonight will go through to the round of 16 draw. And of course, they will be joined by the other eight teams that came first in the Europa League group stages. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay then, and the first game comes from the MCH Arena as FC Michelin face Sporting Lisbon. Now, it was 1-1 in the first leg last week at the Estadio Jota Arvalde, which is a kind of a good result for FC Michelin. You know, considering no one's really heard of them before and people were expecting Sporting to win. So, to be fair, fair play to Michelin. Michelin do have the advantage tonight. They are at home. But Sporting, they'll want to win. They do not want to go out of Europe early. They want to go far in the Europa League. Um, they wanted to go far in the Champions League. They came third in the group stages. They want to go far in the Europa League. So, Sporting are going to win tonight. It's going to be FC Michelin 1, Sporting Lisbon 2, 2 on Sporting. That means Sporting win 3-2 on aggregate. Okay, then, and the next game comes from the Stade Louis second stadium as AS Monaco face Bayer Leverkusen. Now, uh, the first leg last week was a 3-2 win for Monaco. Uh, it was a decent game last week, you know, lots of goals. Uh, but to be fair, Monaco have been doing really well recently and they are the favourites coming into tonight. Bayer Leverkusen have lost the last two. Of course, they lost... The first leg against Monaco in Germany. And Bayer Leverkusen also lost on the weekend against Mainz. So score prediction. I'm going to go Monaco 2. Bayer Leverkusen 1. 2-1 two, one Monaco. And that means Monaco win 5-3 on aggregate. Okay then. And the next game is Nantes versus Juventus. Now I, have, now I actually have some Italian viewers who watch my videos. So... Big up to all my Italian friends who watch this video, and um, I'm guessing, I'm guessing the two, the two point nine percent of you lot that watch my videos from Italy, I'm guessing some of you are Juventus fans. Um, I'll, well, I, I do follow, I actually follow this Juventus fan on TikTok, and um, he wasn't very impressed with the way Juventus played last week in the first leg against Nantes. I didn't really watch the game, um, but by what but by by um by what I heard apparently Juventus didn't really play that well. Um but any Juve fans watching the video, um how do you think you'll get on? Do you think you'll win? I think it'll be a tough game, you know, nonce, you know I, I like I said, what I got told that Juventus didn't really play well. So nonce will nonce will be confident coming into the game. And you know, nonce are the home side as well. So that'll be extra confidence. But for, I think it'll be a really close game. So I'm going to go Nantes 1, Juventus 2, Juve to win 2-1. And that means Juve will win 3-2 on aggregate. Okay, then and the next game comes from the Philips Stadion. It's PSV Eindhoven versus Sevilla. Of course, Sevilla winning 3-0 last week in the first leg. And for me, I really did expect better from PSV. I watched a bit of the game. Um, I really thought PSV would win i i actually said psv would i actually said psv would win 2-0 and and they didn't psv you know doing really well in the area division but sevilla you know considering i think well what well, was sevilla 12th at the moment i think sevilla 12th at the moment they are they're, f they're only three points above the relegation zone so considering sevilla in a relegation battle Winning 3-0 for them is really good. Um, and for Brian Gill did well last week as well. You know, obviously he's on loan at Sevilla from us. Um, but, you know, PSV will want to win tonight. Ruud van Nistelrooy um, and his team will need a miracle. They need to come back. Sevilla, not Sevilla, PSV need to win 3-0 to take it to extra time. But PSV need to win 4-0 to win it overall. So it's going to be a very tough, a very tough task ahead for PSV Eindhoven tonight. But, you know, I'm sure the PSV fans will get behind their team. I'm sure the players will put in a good effort. So, I'm going to go PSV Eindhoven 2, Sevilla 1, 
Unfortunately, it's not enough for PSV. So, 2 on PSV, but Sevilla win 4-2 on aggregate. Okay, then, and the next game is the biggest game of them all. Manchester United versus Barcelona at Old Trafford. Now, it was 2-2 in the first leg at the new Camp last week. Um, it was 2-2 uh, uh, in the first leg last week. And, you know, I didn't watch the game, but I watched, I watched the highlights. And to be fair, the game just looked incredible. I'm not going to lie. The game just re the game just looked incredible, um, you know. Both, you know, the game just the game just looked incredible. Um, the game the game looked incredible, and you know, um, both teams created a lot of chances. It was very scrappy. Um, I I can't remember who scored. Who scored? I can't remember who scored the goals. Let me have a look. Who scored? Alonso, Rafinha, oh, Rashford and uh, Kunde own goal. But to be fair, I think to... Well, Cody watched this game last week. And to be fair to Man United, to go to Barcelona, because obviously Barcelona are currently top of La Liga, people were expecting United maybe to lose by one goal. But to be fair, well, and also people were expecting United maybe not to play that well. But United actually played really well. Um, so fair play to them. Um, But, you know, this is just such a... It's such a difficult game to predict. Two massive teams, um, and people even it, people even struggled to predict the first leg last week. So, <coughs> God, I need a drink. So I don't know how people are going to predict the second leg, but I've actually gone with the same scoreline as last week: Manchester United two, Barcelona two. So that means it'll be four four on aggregate. It's going to go to extra time. It's going to be very scrappy. Both teams will sit back and defend and try score. But it's going to be scrappy. It's going to go all the way to penalties. And for me, Barcelona will win on penalties. So it's going to be a really good game. So 2-2 after 120 minutes and Barcelona to win on penalties. Okay then, and the next game is Rent versus Shakhtar Donetsk. Now, I actually watched Fogden's vlog of the game last week in Warsaw. Um, and to be fair, Shakhtar actually looked all right, to be fair. Shakhtar actually looked decent. Shakhtar actually looked all right, to be fair. And um, Ren didn't look too great, considering Ren have got some decent players on their side. Fair play to Shakhtar. Of course, Shakhtar did win 2-1 in Poland last week. But for me, I think Ren will have a massive advantage. They are the home team. Um, so, prediction, I'm going to go Ren 3, Shakhtar Donetsk 1. So, that means it'll be 3-3 three, three on the aggregate. And I think Ren are going to win 4-3 after extra time. So, Ren 4, Shakhtar Donetsk 1. And Ren to win 4-3 on aggregate. Yeah. Okay, then, and the next game is Roma versus Salzburg at the Stadio Olimpico. Now, the first leg last week was 1-0 to RB Salzburg. And uh, I didn't watch the game. And I, I don't know. I, I can't really comment on much. But to be fair, that game, you know, that game could be a bit underrated. You know, Roma and Salzburg are two decent teams. Roma in the top four race in Serie A. Salzburg, I think they're top of the Austrian Bundesliga. I don't know. Um, but I'm sure, I'm sure the Olympico will be rocking tonight. Both teams want to go for it. Of course, it was only one nil in Austria last week, so it's it's still it's still it's still up for grabs for both teams. But for me, I'm gonna go Roma two, Salzburg one. So it'll be two two in the night minutes, extra time, and and in extra time it's gonna be Roma two, Salzburg two. It's gonna remain two two. So that means Salzburg will go through after extra time. So Roma two, Salzburg two. Salzburg to win 3-2 on aggregate. And, of course, the final game is Union Berlin versus Ajax. Now, I watched this game last week because, of course, me and Cody did a live watch-along um, for the Man United game. Of course, Cody watched United and I watched Union Berlin. And, to be fair, I think the game at the Johan Cruyff Arena last week was really, really good. It was very scrappy. Both teams had a lot of chances. Um, Union did score... But I think it was it got disallowed for handball. 
I don't understand. How was it handball? I don't understand. Like, from what I saw, the ball went, 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 went like that past his arm. It didn't touch his arm. So I feel I feel bad for the Union fans. But, you know, tonight is a big night for them. To They have a chance. They have the chance to knock out a big a big team in Ajax. You know, Ajax, you know, they are a big team. You know, they got to the Champions League semi-finals a few years ago. Um, you know, they got great players on their side. You know, Bergvine, Tadic, Berghaus, um, Bassi. They've got some good players in their team. Union, well, Union drew on the weekend with Schalke, so it's not that good of a result. But, you know, Union, I don't think they'll be that bothered because they'll be more focused on this game tonight against Ajax. But I think, I think, I think fair play to all the Ajax fans going out to Berlin tonight because Union... Well, when Union, well, Union were in the Europa, were in the Europa Conference League last season, and Union, um, because in like UEFA's rules, oh my eye, but I think in UEFA's rules, like the stadium wasn't big enough, so they had to Union Berlin had to play at Hertha Berlin Stadium, but the weird thing is this season Union are allowed to play at their stadium, so I don't really understand, but you know it is. To be fair, the stadium is quite. The state it reminds me of like um do you know do you know what that stadium reminds me of? Union Berlin Stadium reminds me of Barrow. The ba Barrow Stadium. Um it is wait, I'll sh let me get a picture. Let me get a picture of the two stadiums. Right, here's right, this is Union's Ber this is the Union Berlin Stadium. That's the Union Berlin Stadium. And let me let me get you Barrow Stadium. I'll see Barrow AFC, the League Two team. And this is Barrow Stadium, look. Let me get let me find a good picture. And this is Barrow Stadium, look. And that's Barrow. That's Barrow Stadium. It's a, it's a bit similar, I'm not gonna lie. Um and how is that stadium hosting Europa League games? I don't understand. I don't understand, but you know, fair play to Union to know should be back at that. I think Union will be glad because I they probably didn't like it playing at their rival stadium, so I'm quite I'm, I bet they're happy that they're back uh, at their own ground. But, you know, it was nil-nil last week. So, this game means everything for both teams. Union will go for it. So will Ajax. This is going to be a really good game. And my prediction is Union Berlin 2, Ajax 2. So, that means, of course, it was nil-nil last week. So, I just said 2-2. Two -two, so, of course, it'll go to extra time. And for me, I think someone's going to win it in extra time. And for me, it's going to be Union Berlin. I just think I actually run out of gas and Union will push all the way. They'll have that they'll have that bit left more than Ajax. So I'm gonna go Union Berlin three, Ajax two after extra time. So three two to Union after extra time and Union go through three two on aggregate. So there we go, and so that means I think Sporting Lisbon, Monaco, Juventus, Sevilla, Barcelona, Ren. Salzburg and Union Berlin will go through to the round of 16 of the Europa League. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I've actually got to upload this quick because it's currently 10 past, well, 9 minutes past 5. And, of course, we have games kicking off at 5.45. So I've got to get this out. But, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Adios.